Hi, my name is James Coulter. I'm with Thinkbox Software. I'm here with founder and CEO Chris Bond. We're at the uh, File Catalyst booth here at the NAB 2015 conference. Uh, today we're showing off some of the new advanced features of Deadline 7.1, which includes uh, asset transfer uh, up to the cloud for cloud rendering. So uh, Chris, why don't you tell us what you're uh, showing us today? What I'm doing here is we've got a scene file that has a number of different assets in 3D Studio Max 2015. Uh, it's this bookcase, it's got a number of different um, textures that have to be synchronized to the cloud and rendered. So the goal here is we have a number of different uh, slaves that are currently running on Google. We have uh, quad core, 16 core, these are all set up with our uh, deadline cloud wizard for Google. And I'm submitting this job from uh, the local machine. We've uh, done an introspection of the scene, which has given us the uh, asset list of all of these different uh, textures. So the first thing that happens when we get those assets is we stage them locally. So this could be a local file store, it could be a server, um, it could be anything. And so we've captured all the data, whether it's XMesh or PRT, inside of 3D Studio Max, and we've pushed them to this local folder. And I'm just gonna jump over really quickly and show you the remote file store uh, that exists. I uh, believe that the file store is called Redbook and I'm going to go look at that location. So we're now we're browsing the, the remote file store and you can see that the assets there are arriving. Um, we've gotten the list from inside 3D Studio Max and we've run File Catalyst. Let me switch over to File Catalyst. Oh, as you can see inside our assets tool, we have the ability to, to launch a variety of different, I don't know why, there you go, a variety of different synchronization tools. FTP, RSync, File Catalyst is our preferred partner. And we're uh, allowing the system um, to uh, synchronize. Let me just pull up Filecast as the wrong window. Here you go, system monitor. And um, I don't see any transmissions with the file I've already completed. So there you go, it was a little too fast. I was slow in the uptake. Uh, here's our scene, Thinkbox demo batch. Uh, assets are currently processed. And now we're working on the demo is actually rendering. So if I look at a job dependency view of this job, I can see that all the assets are attached to this currently rendering job, and they had to be at the remote location in order for it to, to process. And once that render is complete, um, let's see here where we are. It's now completed. The next thing that's going to happen is we're going to get a file catalyst transfer of the resulting render locally. So if I go back into my FC data folder, which is my arbitrary data store, I've got an output file. And if I go to, as you can see, an image is starting to pop up. And if I pop over to File Catalyst, if I'm fast enough to see it, there it is. There's the spike of the file transfer for incoming data. So that was rendered on the cloud, on Google, and it is now showing up locally. And when that completes, I should be able to see my image. There it is. So I've just submitted a job in one click, collected the assets, synchronized them to the cloud, used Deadline's dependency system, and we're able to render that image directly. That's the demo, it's pretty simple. The goal is to get this into every application we support, over 60 applications, support all the different cloud regions so that we can enable remote rendering, whether it be cloud or remote physical machines. Essentially, the asset is now rendered and we had a synchronization back to the local file store. If we pull, pull up in that folder, we got an output and there's the bookshelf rendered. So what we just did was we submitted all of the 3D Studio Max assets into a dependent job that synchronized to the cloud automatically, rendered the asset on Google, and synced it back. And so the goal is that this approach to give the ability for end users to submit jobs, deal with assets, and remote render on a, lo on a remote service is going to be as simple as possible and will support all of the 60 plus applications deadline supports. All right, fantastic. It's a deadline comprehensive compute management software. We just showed you uh, file transfer and cloud rendering. And uh, if you'd like more information, visit our website at www.thinkboxsoftware.com. Thank you.